Man here again, and today we're working on the 2010 Jeep Patriot. Again, yes, it's old, it needs fixing, so what can you do? Uh, today, I need to change out the sprayer nozzle for the rear spray. Um, as you can see, it just shoots straight out, and uh, it's broken off inside of there. So I went and got the new part, which was a challenge in itself, and uh, we'll replace it. And we're also going to do the rear wiper blade as well. So let's get at it. So here are the parts I need. This is the sprayer nozzle, which I had to go to the dealer to get because uh, anything online seemed to be uh, very expensive for shipping here in Canada because it always seemed to come out of the States. So I went to the dealer and got one. So probably saved on the shipping, but paid too much maybe for the sprayer nozzle, but what are you gonna do? And the rear wiper blade. I also got one, I bought that at the dealer as well. Surprisingly enough, I had trouble finding this rear wiper blade at the local parts store, but uh, granted I had, didn't try very hard, but uh, it just seemed just as easy to order at the same time as I got the sprayer nozzle. So uh, we're gonna pull this apart and uh, get the uh, new sprayer nozzle in, and then uh, we'll do the wiper blade right away. Okay, so we got our handy dandy um, number 20 Torx screwdriver. And we're going to take out the two screws that are holding the rear uh, brake light and sprayer assembly. Put those in the old back pocket for safekeeping. And we'll pull this out. And as you see, there's the old broken spray nozzle there. And I tried gluing it once before and it just didn't hold up. So uh, that's why I ended up getting a new part. Okay, so we're just going to take the old base of the broken sprayer nozzle, the, the outer part of the sprayer nozzle is long since gone, and we'll set that aside, and we'll get the new spray nozzle, and there it is, it's got a little rubber gasket on it for sealing. So the first thing you need to do is, it's just a clip in, so you just push it through the hole of the, uh, the rear brake light itself, just a clip fit, it's in there nicely and put the hose back on in the back and screw it back in. Got our screws in my back pocket. Put this back on like that. I always complain that uh, working on a Jeep seems to be a pain in the butt, but this may be one of the better, uh, easier jobs to do. Um, I mean, over the years, probably banging it with a squeegee and stuff weakened this thing, and uh, so it was just bound to go when things get brittle. So let's give it a shot, see how it works. Okay, let's move on to the rear wiper blade. Another fairly easy task. Now this is the new wiper blade here, and the fastener, or the uh, hook assembly, has a little tab at the back of it here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay, so you're going to push on that little tab at the back of that bracket, and that will allow the blade to slide from the hook. And don't slide it too far, so that you can just pull the, uh, the wiper blade forward towards the glass, and unhook it from the, the arm itself. Now let's take the new wiper blade and the hook fits in that side there and we'll clip on to that plastic bracket. So we're just gonna slip that in there like such, pull it forward and there it is. Sometimes these can be a bit of a battle, um, especially if you end up going too far with the blade uh, coming off the hook and then it gets caught underneath there in, in this space or whatever and you gotta fiddle around with it to try and get it off. Interestingly enough from the dealer the new blade is about an inch longer than the one I had on there so I wonder if I had the wrong one to begin with. Now I think this is only the second time or third time I've actually replaced this wiper blade because it doesn't get a used a whole heck of a lot but the rubber does deteriorate and you can see this one is like falling apart completely. So it was definitely due. Now 
There we go, smooth like butter. If I look at the white pattern, this new blade is actually going off the window there, so maybe they sold me the wrong one. But no matter what, it seems to work, so I'm gonna keep it on there. Okay, so that's it for this quick uh, fix and repair on the uh, Jeep Patriot where we changed out the rear sprayer and the wiper blade for the rear deck. And if you like this kind of videos, don't be afraid to like, comment, and share, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.